Welcome to Academic Gain Tutorials. In this video, we will look into the differences between strike and lockout. When the management refuses to accept the demands of the employees or workers, due to which they mutually decide to stop working and proceed to strike. Workers use this as a last option when they don't find any other way to convince the management to agree to their demands. Talking about the other way around, when the employers are looking for domination over the workers and impose their terms and conditions on them, they keep them out of the business premises and stop them from performing their job. This is what we call lockout. So, let's look into the basic differences between strike and lockout in a tabular form. Difference number one, strike implies the stoppage of work by an association of workmen, working in an industry, as they collectively refuse to work under a common understanding, to show grievance or to compel the management to fulfill their demands, whereas, lockout is the opposite of strike, as it is initiated by the company's management, which results in psychological pressure on the workman, to accept the terms and conditions of the management or ready to bear the consequences of the closure of the unit. Number 2, the strike involves an organized and united withdrawal of the supply of labor, whereas, lockout involves withholding the demand of labor. Number 3, the strike is a tool in the hands of workers to bend the employer in their favor, whereas, lockout is the tool in the hands of management to restrict the militant spirit of the workers. Number 4, the strike is a union power tactics as it is called upon and supported by the labor or employee union, on the other hand, Lockout is a tactic used in bargaining, which aims at compelling the workers to agree and accept the terms and conditions related to the employment, imposed by the management. Number 5. The main objective of the strike is to seek redressal of the grievance, promote and protect their rights and interest and also attain fulfillment of their demands, related to employment. In contrast, lockout aims at gaining an advantage by inflicting proprietary rights over the workers. And, difference number 6, the strike is resorted to by the workers to initiate or resist change in their working conditions. Conversely, lockout is resorted to by the management to force employees to return to work.